on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, we used to do pretty nasty uh, lactate threshold sets. And, you know, you'd be doing, for me, obviously, at the time, I'd be doing like, you know, let's give you an example. Uh, you know, I might do something like, um, you know, three sets, three mm -hmm. big sets, broken down, three, three big sets of like, it's a K, uh, you know, a, a big block. So it was a yep. 3,000 meter pressure accession of would be say five 200s mm -hmm. broken down into like a hundred and then two fifties the hundred you know you'd be going max sort of this easy lactate threshold and i'd be holding like long course 108 to 110 mm -hmm. um, on 150 and then the next middle 50 well the first 50 obviously so that would be going from the 100 to the 150 yep. that i would try and manage at like a 32 and then that would be on about a minute and then come back again in like 31 30. so the last 50 is the replication almost of like the last 50 of 100 meters because you're, uh -huh. ha you're having this you know high lactate threshold 100 first go out where you're not killing yourself then the middle 50 which is uh you know the first 50 obviously you're going through to um like managing swimming with lactate to a mm -hmm. certain degree, or right. almost trying to teach your body to swim the lactate out, but still in a pretty decent speed. Right. And then that last 50 um, is like the last 50 of 100. So you'd, you'd, you'd really try and gun and I, and I try to get down to like a 30 point, something mm. around there. And right. that would be on about a, the 130 to 145, depending on, on you know, how, you know, where you are in the season, how fit you are. So that you would do effectively five times. And that's one set and you do that whole thing three times so those three kind of times that's so you're doing three thousand breaststroke that's a lot of breaststroke bro yeah exactly <laughs> but i mean by the end of that you know if you're if you're um, you know you're able to try and maintain that kind of a, a session it gives you a lot of confidence to know that you know you, you're pretty ready to come back on that second 50 of the 100 with going out on a super high pace so yeah. Those are the kind of sets that we, you know, we used to do that, uh, yeah, was, was, was quite tough obviously, but get, it's a confidence builder. And that's that whole thing, you know, where if you put in the work and, you know, you're, uh, you're able to rely on that, you know, why would you not be confident to go into that? But then again, you know, you know to compare it, it's just on who you are as a person, Marco Koch would eat that session up, you know, and go one of fours, man. And then he'd be pushing 30 point and 30 point and, <laughs> you know, like, it's it's you know very impressive obviously but if i had to train with him every single day my confidence wouldn't be that high so it's um you know multitude of factors that, that obviously contribute to the confidence and and um yeah you know what, what what you're capable you know those tuesday thursday sessions that i'd spoken about i would treat those as like race days so i would you know i would come into the pool on on a tuesday and a thursday like an hour before my session start you know i would do stretching you know, abdominals, I would have eaten a really good lunch. I'd have pre-workout, man, you know, head in, you know, like mm -hmm. my mindset was like in the warm-up, even in, in the stretching, you know, I wasn't like jerky around, you know, like, people yeah. were, you know, I would be still conversational, but it was quite a serious event for me. So that was almost like pre-programming into my mind at such a young age that this was like so serious that that I could draw on as confidence leading into the, um, the swim.